Now in 4 News Now at 6, the race for governor is on. For proof, look no further than the attack ads airing right now. We're fact-checking one that claims the current attorney general's actions put one woman in the path of a sex offender. In your first alert forecast, I am tracking gusty winds that are putting our region at greater risk of fire and blowing dust and smoke, taking a toll on our air quality. And the city of Spokane is partnering with Chaz Hell to provide medicine to people living on the streets. How more state money will expand this program. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. Well, thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Derek Dice. Kirsten O'Connor has the night off. We want to get right to a couple of traffic impacts you'll want to know about. A brush fire burning west of Ritzville was impacting traffic on I-90 for hours today. But right now, all lanes of I-90 are back open after a chaotic afternoon. According to the Adams County Sheriff's Office, the fire is contained and the crews are now watching for flare-ups. The Sheriff's Office estimates this fire is about five miles long. It believes the fire was caused by a farmer mowing unprotected lands. However, that has not been confirmed. We received this video from a viewer stuck in traffic. Now, this fire is burning about nine miles north of Lind at the I-90 interchange. SR-21 was shut down at around noon and reopened at around three o'clock. Again, all lanes of I-90 are back open. Closer to Spokane, a rollover crash on I-90 near the Freya exit blocked traffic for about an hour this afternoon. According to the Department of Transportation, this multi-vehicle crash caused backups for about five miles going all the way to the top of Sunset Hill. It happened around 2.45 this afternoon just west of Freya. The scene is now clear and all lanes are back open. All right, let's send it over to Chris Crocker with a look at that first alert forecast. And of course, all that blowing dust has been such an issue today all over. Yes, and has been a real problem in terms of fighting those wildfires. We've had a fire weather warning in effect for the region since yesterday, anticipating these gusty winds of up to 50 miles per hour. That fire weather warning continues until 8 o'clock tonight. Winds will slowly begin subsiding. Meanwhile, we have a blowing dust advisory until 6.30 this evening. Visibility has been down less than a quarter mile in parts along I-90, particularly around the Ritzville area. And that blowing dust is causing problems with our air quality. We have gone now into the unhealthy range in Spokane. Uh, 152, we were in the unhealthy for sensitive groups range just in the last half hour. So things are continuing to decrease. And there is a little bit of smoke in along with those uh, the dust particles. Wind gusts forecast right now we are seeing wind gusts in the 35 mile per hour range in the Spokane uh, West Plains a little bit calmer as we head further to the east spirit Lake, the exception with a 33 mile per hour gust we could still see 40 mile per hour gusts for about the next hour and then things start to drop off 30 mile per hour gusts through the evening and then much calmer conditions as we get into the overnight now as those winds die down and our skies clear our temperature is going to drop this is cold air coming in behind this cold front and I will let you know how cool it's going to be tomorrow morning and where there might be some concerns about frost very small area. That's coming up in just a few minutes, Derek. All right, talk to you in a bit, Chris. Well, the city of Spokane and Chaz Health have partnered up to expand its street medicine outreach program. It's aiming to provide health care to our most vulnerable communities. Our Hunter Bertram shares how these programs save lives. The city of Spokane announced it's allocating $1 million in awarded funds to support Chaz Health Street Medicine Outreach efforts. Chaz, a healthcare company, has already been servicing Spokane streets, so this new partnership means is that in areas that experience high amounts of homelessness, there's going to be more time and more aid to help those that need it. The city said the new funding will expand the team's hours of operation, which Anwar Peace, a homeless outreach volunteer, says is needed. And so having the street medical be able to triage and be able to really uh, address some of the issues like wound care, which is so important to uh, our homeless neighbors, is crucial, he says, preventing the need for emergency treatment. Peace also works for Jules Helping Hands, a group that works closely with street health. He says if we didn't have them, unfortunately, we would have more deaths on our streets. Um, street medical, I can say this for a fact, has saved lives in our community. Mayor Lisa Brown said the partnership will support continuation of the important work done by Chaz. It's really important that um, our, our homeless neighbors be treated like neighbors and being able to have the health care
care that they deserve and uh, should have is a wonderful first step uh, in our community. In Spokane, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now. In For the People election coverage tonight, the ad that puts a candidate for Washington governor in the spotlight. Bob Ferguson led a sex offender free who went on to commit a violent act at knife point against a 74 year old woman in her own home. It's That's an ad from former Congressman Dave Reichert saying Attorney General Bob Ferguson's actions put a woman in the path of a dangerous sex go. offender. Public safety is a big issue in every election and it's one Reichert and Ferguson are going to debate for the next 10 weeks. That ad is sparking debate about the future of sexually violent predators on McNeil Island. But are Reichert's assertions true? Marissa Rio fact checked the ad and talked to candidates about the big picture. Paul Harrell is the sex offender that ad was referring to. He's a convicted rapist classified by the state as a sexually violent predator. He was previously sent to the Special Commitment Center on McNeil Island, but was released and attacked again. Reichert says it all happened on Ferguson's watch. The people in the Special Commitment Center on McNeil Island have already served their prison time. The Attorney General's office then files to have them committed as sexually violent predators to this facility run by the Department of Social and Health Services. Paul Harrell was sent there in 2011 after serving his prison sentence for multiple counts of rape. In May of 2019, court documents reveal that Attorney General Bob Ferguson told the judge Harrell no longer met the criteria of a sexually violent predator. Two years later, Harrell attacked a woman at Knife Point in Maryland. It was a judge that ultimately released Harrell in Washington, with the state not objecting. But Reichert's ad doesn't tell the full story. He ignored expert medical advice and let this one go. And he thinks he deserves a promotion? Court documents show two different doctors evaluated Harold's mental health and said he no longer met the criteria of a sexually violent predator. That's why the attorney general's office said the state could not prove beyond reasonable doubt that Harold needed to stay committed on McNeil Island. We don't release anybody, just to be clear. That's up to a judge. We don't approve it. Records show that over the past two years, judges have released 67 people from the facility. As 4 News Now has reported in the past, several of them have ended up here in Spokane. State law says that every offender in the facility has a constitutional right to an annual hearing to evaluate their progress. If the court determines they're less likely to reoffend, they're released. Sometimes that release requires intensive monitoring. But if the court determines a person no longer meets the sexual violent predator criteria, they're released unconditionally, like Paul Harrell was. DSHS doesn't track how many of them reoffend, but some of them have. As recently as three weeks ago, a former McNeil Island resident was busted for possessing child pornography. It's that lack of oversight that Riker takes issue with. He told 4 News Now today, that is inexcusable. If there was oversight and accountability, the Attorney General's office and DSHS would have seen that their criteria to release people is flawed and needed reform, which would have led to less victims. As governor, I will work to ensure we have systems systems in place that will protect our communities. And they are being released more often. When 4 News Now visited the facility in 2006, there were 239 sexually violent predators here. Today, DSHS says there are 128. Still, Reichert and Ferguson agree on one thing. They both say they want these offenders in this facility. Uh, we need to keep it and make sure that sexually violent predators uh, stay there. Operating this island facility is really expensive. It costs the state over $71 million in 2023. The number keeps going up even as the number of sexually violent predators goes down. You can check our work and see where we got the information and numbers cited in this story on our website at kxly.com. In studio, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. All right, Marissa, thanks for that. Well, voters will decide on that attorney general race and many others in the November general election. But there are some important dates you need to keep in mind before then. People in Spokane County can update their information or register to vote online and by mail until October 28th. You can do the same in person up to and even on election night. In Cooney County, you can register online through October 11th or in person when you go to vote. You have until October 25th to request an absentee ballot. For all of your questions about this election, you can head to kxy.com slash for the people.
Well, an elementary school in St. Mary's celebrated its 100th birthday. Teachers and staff going back decades return to school today, but many graduates are actually working at the school right now. We sent our Derek Strom to see the celebration. His story coming up in just a couple of minutes. Plus, the Coeur d'Alene School Board has some big levy decisions to discuss in their meeting tomorrow. We'll break down the two levy options that could be on your November or your ballot come November. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. Save your greed! I've always been drawn to artists like this. Yeah, me too. This used to be one of my favorites when I was younger. You're me. Yeah, after you put the firm and follow your passion. Face your future with Whitworth University. Stay ahead of your moderate to severe eczema and show off clearer skin and less itch with Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists that helps heal your skin from within. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixin. Refresh your space with a mid-century makeover at Ashley. During the Labor Day sale, discover statement pieces starting at $499.99. Plus, get 0% interest for five years on in-store purchases. No minimum purchase required. Shop more deals in-store and online. A luxury Audi experience doesn't start when you're driving or even when you first get behind the wheel. It starts here at Audi Spokane where you can take advantage of a new 2024 Audi Q4 e-tron Quattro for only $4.99 a month. That's an Audi Q4 e-tron, $4.99 a month. Start your luxury journey now at Audi Spokane, an AutoNation company. It's Coeur d'Alene Casino's Core Stars Entertainment Series. I love you too. Harmony, one of country's most undeniable hit makers. Live at the Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, September 12th. Ready for action? It's no holds barred as King of the Cage features up and coming MMA stars battling it out live at the Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, October 10th. Visit the Coeur d'Alene Casino box office or cdacasino.com to buy your tickets now. Winning is just the beginning. This summer, don't sweat it. Bill's Heating and AC has you covered with the best prices on air conditioners and heat pumps. Guaranteed. With over 3,000 five-star reviews, we're the locally owned company you can trust. Our expert technicians provide fast, reliable service to ensure your home stays comfortable all season long. And should you ever have an issue, we're open seven days a week to provide immediate help. So what are you waiting for? Call Bill's Heating and AC for your free quote today. Welcome back. The Coeur d'Alene School Board has some big decisions to discuss at its special meeting tomorrow. The board will hear public comments on a supplemental levy that will be decided by voters this November. The Board of Trustees is debating two different levies that would, uh, that would help fund the school district over the next two years. It covers things like student athletics, extracurricular activities, health services, classroom supplies, staff salaries, and operating expenses. Now, the first option is a $25 million a year levy. According to the district, it would keep the current tax levy rate the same, but require $750,000 a year in cost reductions. That's as long as funding and enrollment stay the same over the next two years. The current tax levy is the lowest it's been in 10 years, estimated at 93 cents for every $1,000 of taxable property value. The second option is a $25.75 million a year levy. The district says this would cover 3% of inflation costs with no cost reductions. The average cost to homeowners for this levy would be 90 six cents for every $1,000 of taxable property value. If voters approve this plan, it would apply to the 2025 tax year. The meeting starts at noon on Wednesday at the Midtown Meeting Center on 5th and Linden. We'll be following this and be sure to let you know what happens. Over half a million dollars is coming to three child care centers in Spokane County. The money awarded from the Washington Department of Commerce will be split between St. Anne's Children and Family Center, Sun City Child Development Center, and The Nest. It's part of a grant program to help providers make renovations to upgrades or to upgrade their quality of care. More than $7 million were awarded across the state.
Well, St. Mary's is celebrating the 100th year of Hayburn Elementary, a building that's seen thousands of students over its history. Many of those students have come back to work for the district or even the school itself. Our Derek Strom spoke with current and former staff about why the school means so much to St. Mary's. We've got roughly 150 staff members throughout the, through the whole district. 30% of those staff members are St. Mary's graduates. Many of the teachers at Hayburn Elementary attended the school themselves when they were kids, and the opportunity to come back and teach the next generation of kids in St. Mary's is something the staff here is extremely proud of. I had the opportunity to teach with some of my teachers, and that was amazing and um, I've been able to give new teachers a little bit of background to our community and you know just how things kind of work here in St. Mary's. In an age where almost everything's new it's rare to see a building stand for a century but for the community of St. Mary's supporting the work that's being done at Hayburn Elementary is something they've done for generations. Uh, it's just really a a testament to how well people care for it and, and what it means to them to have gone to Hayburn and to have their children go to Hayburn and their grandchildren go to Hayburn. And Many of the families in St. Mary's had the same teachers for generations, including school board chair Jody Hendricks, who was taught by Charlotte Applegate. His wife and his daughter both had Mrs. Applegate as well, and lifelong connections like that are what made teaching at Hayburn special to Applegate over the 33 years she was there. It's it's everybody. It's the teachers, it's all the workers, it's the board, it's, it's everybody, the community support that, that have allowed this building to still be, be here 100 years later. Even for people in the school district in the St. Mary's community that haven't been here very long, Hayburn still stands out as the heart of St. Mary's. And the fact that so many staff members in the district are St. Mary's natives is what makes the school and the district unique. It speaks to, yeah, how special again or proud they are of their community and each other, um, the schools and the, and the community, yeah. In St. Mary's, Derek Strom, 4 News Now. Oh, just one reason St. Mary's is extra special. What a nice story. Well, here are four things to know about your weather. It is going to be a windy and dusty evening. Fire weather warning until 8 o'clock. A chilly Tuesday morning. Coldest weather we've seen in more than two months, but... Don't get your sweaters out for good. It is going to be a hot Labor Day weekend. I'll tell you all about it after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Travel for Adventures is brought to you in part by Lewis Clark Valley. It's our endless summer saving sales event where new Sierra 1500s come with 1.9% APR plus up to $12,000 off MSRP. There's never any dealer added markups on new vehicles and ask us about our three day return and seven day exchange at GMC of Riverfront Park. It won't be hard to find someone to fix this, but before I started Angie's List, different story. A lot has changed for us at Angie's since then, but the issues facing homeowners are the same and the solution to skilled local pros. Get started at Angie.com. With Flonase, allergies don't have to be scary. Spraying Flonase daily gives you long-lasting, non-drowsy relief. Flonase, all good. Spokane and North Idaho's country leader. How many devices can my Wi-Fi handle? That's an easy one, Allie. The average home has more devices than ever. But our gateways are engineered to handle hundreds. So not only will they work today, they'll also work tomorrow. That's our new intern. Thanks, buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. You pick just... Power all your devices with fast, reliable Xfinity Internet for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. BECU isn't like other financial institutions, and the difference is people. Because we're not-for-profit, there's no boardroom of billionaires maximizing their margins. Our biggest stakeholders are people like you. It's our members who make money meaningful, so we focus on helping them thrive. It's the art student bringing beauty to his community that makes a college loan matter. It's the mother building her family's foundation that makes a mortgage matter. It's people that make BECU matter. People like you. 
It's our endless summer savings sales event, where new Sierra 2500 HDs have 5.9% APR, plus up to 6500 off MSRP. There's never any dealer-added markups on new vehicles. And ask us about our three-day return and seven-day exchange at GMC of Riverfront Park. Well, it is simply terrifying how soon Halloween stores are opening up. If you can believe it, Halloween shopping has already started here in the Inland Northwest. Before you check your calendar, yes, it is still August. There are stores that are open right now. You might have already seen the Halloween Express store at Northtown is up and running. It's the only locally owned Halloween store in town. The Spirit Halloween in the Valley is also open with another location coming soon. There are two other store locations expected to open up before Halloween. So if you're you're ready to get your spooky season on, you can check out our story on KXY.com for more details. I guess, I guess never too early to start Halloween costume shopping or decoration <laughs> shopping. Well, you know, Derek, it's going to feel a little like yeah. Halloween tomorrow morning. And I know local gardeners are scared because I've been getting messages uh, more than I can respond to. So hopefully you're all watching. 99% of you will be just fine. Just one little pocket up around Colville. You may get down into that 35 degree range. Right now, it is a cool evening. 67 degrees in Spokane. Still that dust on the horizon. 65 degrees in Coeur d'Alene with mostly sunny skies. Winds Still 32 mile per hour gusts in Spokane, 38 mile per hour gusts in the Moses Lake area where we are really seeing the problems with the blowing dust between Moses Lake and Ritzville. 26 mile per hour gusts right now in Pullman, but things are already starting to die down and will continue to die down through the evening. Our fire weather warning expires at eight. Our blowing dust advisory expires just here in the next 10 minutes. I'll double check with the weather service to see if that's gonna be extended. But then our winds pick up again as we get into Wednesday afternoon, but nowhere near as strong. It is gonna be up to 25 miles per hour gusts on Wednesday and then those winds will die back down again for another cool night. Here's a look at those Wednesday morning lows. 45 in Spokane, 42 in Sandpoint. There's the only area that may get a little frosty in spots up around Colville down at 35. Those sheltered northern valleys up along the Canadian border. Pullman 39, 51 in Lewiston, also 39 in St. Mary's, as well as Deer Park, but 40s throughout the rest of the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area. And we'll be in similar territory again on Thursday morning. Wednesday's highs will be running below average. We'll be in the lower to mid 70s in most locations. 77 in Mead, 78 degrees in Nine Mile, 71 in Coeur d'Alene. 60s in Pullman as well as Kellogg, 70 in St. Mary's and 80 in Grand Coulee. Then we start warming up. We'll be back up around average by Thursday and then well above just in time for the Labor Day weekend. You notice it starts to cool down a little bit next Tuesday. That is not the trend. This is the 8 to 14 day forecast and we are in this bright fuchsia color just pegging the meter here in terms of above average temperatures. So we've got a lot of summer weather left to go despite the way it feels right now and will tomorrow morning. Breezy conditions in the afternoon, nothing like today, 25 mile per hour gusts, and then blue skies, sunshine, warm weather. I do have a 20% chance of showers on Labor Day, but that will be afternoon, evening, mountain type showers. Hopefully you'll have the boat packed up and getting your school supplies all organized by the time you might see a shower, Derek. All right, Chris, thank you. Well, an acrobatist with Cirque du Soleil is recovering tonight. She took a nasty fall at a performance in Portland over the weekend. That story and more news around the country coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Shop consigned furniture and jewelry's Labor Day inventory blowout sale. Experience huge discounts throughout the store on all new, consigned, and unique one-of-a-kind pieces. If you don't see the price you like, make us an offer. Consigned furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. They both want to be your next president. Now Kamala Harris, Donald Trump.
Face to Face, the ABC News presidential debate, moderated by David Muir and Lindsey Davis. Tuesday, September 10th, live on ABC and streaming on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. August 28th through September 2nd, the 43rd annual Pig Out in the Park returns to Riverfront Park in Spokane, Washington. Free admission, 65 food booths, 295 menu items, five adult beverage gardens, 150 free concerts on five stages. Headliners include Two Slim and the Tail Draggers, Lady A, Twista, Two Shows, DuPont Brass, and Canada's BCDC. For a complete list of food booths and bands, go to pigoutinthepark.com. August 28th through September 2nd, it's the 43rd annual Pig Out in the Park. Life, diabetes, there's no slowing down. Each day is a unique blend of people to see and things to do. That's why you choose Glucerna to help manage blood sugar response. Uniquely designed with Carb Steady. Glucerna, bring on the day. Mainstream has proudly served Greater Spokane and Northern Idaho for over 20 years, offering reliable and high-quality home services. Our exceptional team is committed to delivering trusted plumbing, heating, cooling, and electrical solutions that ensure the comfort and safety of your home. Our goal is to provide the best experience possible when it comes to repairing, maintaining, or installing systems that make your home a more comfortable place to live. Because we are home services. We are Mainstream. Nestled in the heart of the Inland Northwest is a community of dedicated workers. They rise with the sun, their hands shaping the land we go home. They nourish our communities with their unwavering commitment. At Adams Tractor, we believe their hard work deserves to be celebrated. In this year's tribute for our farmers, Adams Tractor extends a heartfelt thank you to those who ensure our tables are full. Through every season and every condition, your dedication never falters. From our family to yours, thank you. A tribute for our Inland Northwest farmers. Brought to you by Adams Tractor. Shop Consigned Furniture and Jewelry's Labor Day Inventory Blowout Sale. Experience huge discounts throughout the store on all new, consigned, and unique one-of-a-kind pieces. If you don't see the price you like, make us an offer. Consigned Furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. Travel for Adventures is brought to you in part by Grant County Tourism. Hi, right, welcome back to 4 News Now around the, in the Northwest. In Portland, an aerial acrobatist is recovering from a fall at a Cirque du Soleil performance this weekend. Take a look here. You can hear the audience gasp. The artist is seen lying on the ground after the fall. She was conscious when she was taken to the hospital, and she is expected to be okay. The Cirque du Soleil medical and coaching teams will determine when she can return to the show after her recovery. In national news tonight, former President Donald Trump's charges in the January 6th election interference case were reworked, now addressing him as a presidential candidate, not as the president. This superseding indictment is in response to the Supreme Court decision last month ruling that the former president is entitled to immunity from criminal prosecution for official acts taken while in office. The indictment has been presented to a new grand jury that had not heard previous evidence in this case. Well, many women use tampons, but researchers have discovered they may contain lead, arsenic, and other toxic chemicals. Now, Consumer Reports is explaining the findings and what users should do to protect their health. The types of metals found varied somewhat across different brands, but one important finding is that even tampons labeled as organic contained traces of these contaminants, particularly arsenic. Well, watch Kirsten O'Connor's special report tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. Coming up on 4 News Now at 6.30, some brand new stories including a recall campaign launched today. It was filed against Spokane County Commissioner Al French. We'll explain how this political push is related to the contamination on the West Plains by PFAS, also known as Forever Chemicals. Don't go. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. At Numerica, you'll find money answers for budgeters in their ramen era. Get money answers for you and only you. Learn more at AmericaCU.com. At Finley Downtown Toyota, we have some of the best inventory we've had in years. And during the Labor Day sales event, we're offering great trade-in values. Plus, every vehicle sold comes with a one-year, 15,000-mile maintenance plan. And if you're looking for a new truck, SUV, or Camry, 
Toyota's got new inventory rolling in every day with great financing options. So you can start your driving adventures tomorrow. Finley Toyota's downtown. This summer, don't sweat it. Bill's Heating and AC has you covered with the best prices on air conditioners and heat pumps. Guaranteed. With over 3,000 five-star reviews, we're the locally owned company you can trust. Our expert technicians provide fast, reliable service to ensure your home stays comfortable all season long. And should you ever have an issue, we're open seven days a week to provide immediate help. So what are you waiting for? Call Bill's Heating and AC for your free quote today. Hey, honey, I hear that Eagle Rock RV and boat storage can accommodate all of our storage needs. Yeah, and all indoor units are powered with lighting and plug-ins to keep our RV and boat batteries charged. And you know what I love? The extra-wide driveways. It makes it easy to move around. And I love their motto, protect and preserve. And they use a state-of-the-art security system with awesome customer service. And they're staffed seven days a week for indoor and outdoor storage access. Eagle Rock RV and boat storage. All All the the fun fun you can can fit fit into into summer. summer. Call or click today to check out their units. This is the Tempur-Pedic Breeze Mattress, and it's designed to help you feel cool. So no more sweating all night, no kicking off the covers, or blasting the air conditioning. Because only the Tempur-Pedic Breeze is made with our one-of-a-kind cooling technology that pulls heat away from your body, so the mattress feels up to 10 degrees cooler all night long. Save up to $700 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets, and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Well, thank you for staying with us. We begin this half hour with a recall campaign launched today. It was filed against Spokane County Commissioner Al French and claims he violated his oath as county commissioner to protect his constituents. The newly formed Clean Water Accountability Coalition has taken legal action seeking to remove French from his position due to his role in the West Plains PFAS contamination. The group alleges Commissioner French deliberately withheld funding to address water contamination and actively worked to cover it up. The coalition is also connected to a Washington progressive organization that endorses Molly Marshall, one of Al French's opponents. Mary Benham, whose water is impacted by PFAS, delivered the recall charges. I'm grateful to the system that we have in this country sincerely that an individual can be heard and that we can form a coalition and make our voices heard. Very grateful for that. Well, we reached out to Commissioner French for a comment. We have yet to receive one. The last successful recall petition was in 2005 when Spokane voters recalled Mayor Jim West. Well, someone shot two people in Desert Air just south of Mattawa at around 9 o'clock last night. The Grant County Sheriff's Office says it happened near Thunderbird Way and Trade Wind Way, not far from the Columbia River. We've since learned one of the victims had critical injuries and was airlifted to the hospital. The second victim declined medical treatment. The Sheriff's Office has secured the area, but so far has no information about who's responsible for the shooting or who the victims are. They say everyone involved is under 18 years old. The Sheriff's Office says it will provide another update so we'll let you know when we learn more. Record-breaking heat is spreading across the U.S. A new study from the American Medical Association confirming that 2023 had the most heat-related deaths ever at more than 2,300. According to the study, heat-related deaths have increased 63% in the last 25 years. The heat disrupted the first day of school in several states. Students at 63 public schools in Philadelphia being sent home early for a second day citing inadequate cooling. They knew the weather was going to be rather hot, and they know they don't have accommodations in a school to where they're providing AC. In Minnesota, fairgoers suffering through the heat during the day, then hit with a severe storm causing flooding. There was a mess of debris to clean up before opening up the Minnesota State Fair late today. Back here at home, things are actually... Quite chilly for us, Tris. Yes, they are. Take a look at these current temperatures around the region. There's a 
clear sky out there. It looks like a lot of the dust has settled. It is 55 right now in Bonners Ferry. We're only in the mid 60s in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, 64 in Pullman, 70 degrees right now in Lewiston. Temperatures running well below average, and it is going to be a chilly Wednesday morning with lows down in the 40s in many locations. Coolest weather we've seen in a couple of months. 39 in Pullman, St. Mary's, 35 in Colville, and it's up around Colville and some of those very most northern sheltered valleys where we could see a little bit of frost on some of your more tender vegetables. But right around the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area, we should be in pretty good shape, even in some of those microclimates where you're prone to an early frost. Uh, I not tonight, I don't believe. We're going to keep it in the 40s in most locations, even Deer Park, one of our coldest locations at 39. Right now, it is the wind that we are watching. Still seeing wind gusts in excess of 30 miles per hour on the West Plains and in Spokane Valley. Things will be calming down later tonight. However, a broader view shows those gusty winds extend through the Columbia Basin with some of the highest winds around Moses Lake as well as Winnipeg close to 40 miles per hour and that is why we do have a fire weather warning until 8 o'clock tonight blowing dust advisory expired at 630 however I the website for our air quality has shut down I know many of you are checking that the last I've been able to get in we were in the unhealthy range uh, but as our winds died down and that dust settled we should be back in pretty good shape I'll be back with your seven day forecast in just a few minutes Derek all right looking forward to it well there is a secretive religious sect operating here in the inland northwest you may have never heard of it's flown under the radar worldwide for more than 125 years it goes by various names like the truth, the way, or the two by twos. That secretive group is under the spotlight now as hundreds of church leaders have been accused of sex abuse and child sex abuse. The death of one of the church's ministers sparked a firestorm, exposing accusations of rampant abuse. Bo Cook grew up in the church and describes their rules. First and foremost, they believe in a literal um, description of Matthew 10, where the ministers go out in pairs. That's the name two by twos. But they believe in a very strange um, theology that says, in order for you, any human being, to get to heaven, you have to hear the gospel preached by one of their ministers. And it was even now, more Cynthia shocking. Lyles is a private investigator out. and a former church member. She and another former member are working with the FBI to hold child sex abusers accountable. We'll tell you how, plus why they say predators have such easy access to children and why they say the church is making this case so much harder in Robin Nance's special report tomorrow on 4 News Now at 6. In North Idaho news this Thursday, Priest River will become Idaho's capital for the day. Governor Brad Little and other state officials want to hear from you. They'll be at the Priest River Event Center to hear from residents about the issues that matter to the community, answer your questions, and connect people to resources. The Capital for a Day program travels to a different rural town each month. This Thursday's event is from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., Check it out if you're in Priest River. All right, students at Cheney Public Schools finish up their first day of classes today. This day has been filled with lots of anticipation as a tentative agreement was reached on Friday avoiding a strike from teachers. Our Alexandra Coneyards was at Cheney Middle School this morning and shares how parents feel going into the new school year. A relief for parents in Cheney that they're able to drop their kids off at school this morning. For the last couple of days, it's been uncertain if this would be able to go along as planned. Lots of smiling faces walked through these doors at Cheney Middle School this morning, filled with excitement for the year ahead. What are you most excited for, for the school year? Uh, making friends and learning new things. This summer was exceptionally long for Cheney educators. The Cheney Education Association and School District started rounds of negotiations in May. The EA was asking for better pay and stronger resources to help retain teachers and attract new ones. 
No, I've been keeping track of it. Um, it was a, it was a little uh, nerve wracking actually to know if they're going to be able to start you know the school on time. Or... In a joint statement released by the superintendent of Cheney Public Schools and the president of the Cheney EA, they say they are excited to move forward together and create a positive, supportive atmosphere in which all students can learn at high levels. Anthony Whitehead, a Cheney parent who dropped off his kids at school this morning, says he has been pleased by the education system in the district, but felt nervous about the start date of classes. I was hoping it was going to start on time. I I'm glad it did and everything was settled real quick. Cheney bargainers say they're relieved to start the school year on schedule with students and avoid the strike. In Cheney, Alexander Conyarts, 4 News Now. Well, Spokane Public Schools is launching a new initiative this year to help with student engagement. The program is called Engage in Real Life, also known as Engage IRL. It hopes to promote face-to-face -face interactions by getting more students involved in sports arts and other community events. Real life and we want every kid every day doing something outside of school, whether that's a club, an activity, an athletic. Um, we want to provide a practical alternative. So instead of five, six, seven, eight hours a day, every day isolating in your home on a device, maybe one or two hours a day and let's get you involved in the club that you're really interested in. Well, more on what parents can expect from this initiative and the resources this program will give to students tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. Well, now to a story you'll see first on Good Morning America. The first school district to swap all of its school buses to electric models is taking the fleet out back or out this back to school season. ABC's Becky Worley shows us the positive ripple effects for students, parents and the environment. 8.20 a.m. Fred Korematsu Elementary. Drop off. Normally punctuated by loud diesel bus engines, it's instead pretty quiet. Oakland Unified is the first district in the country to go all electric with the 72 buses in its fleet. They are dope, if I may use that word. Yes, they're awesome. These electric buses, which can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, are not actually owned by the district. They're contracted from a company called Zoom. Zoom offsets the district's cost by using the bus's batteries to sell power to the electric company during peak hours in the evening, enough to power about 300 homes. When they're not used for transportation, they are getting discharged and giving energy back to the grid. And what that means is that a school bus is acting like a large battery and it is feeding the energy back to the grid through the renewable sources. But the buses have even more tangible effects on families, like the real-time tracking app that tells parents exactly when the bus will arrive at their house each morning, and later that their child has been dropped off. There's a place right here where you set the child in. Another plus for drivers and riders, electric buses have no fumes or emissions. The diesel engine, at the end of the day, when you go ahead and you look at the side of the bus, it'll be black. So that, that if it's on the bus, that'll be in my lungs. This area, as in many areas in urban districts, has a high asthma rate. We know a lot of emissions um, contributes to that high asthma rate. Oakland buses all 1,300 of its special needs students. And for parent Lizbeth Zamora and her son Mateo, these new buses are a major plus. I'm glad that they thought about the environment and the kids' health. When he got home, he was like, Mom, Mom, clean, clean. And I was like, they are clean. I saw that. So he was excited. My bus might uh, my happy. Your bus makes you happy? Yeah. Maybe we'll see that in Spokane in the coming years. Sydney Berger joins us now. Gonzaga men's basketball dealing with some pretty tough news that was announced this afternoon. Yeah, Steel Venters has suffered a season-ending injury. What Coach Mark Few had to say about it is coming up next in sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Shriners Children Spokane. The most amazing care anywhere. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. At Numerica, you'll find money answers for outdoor concert lovers. Get money answers for you and only you. Learn more at numericacu.com. 
Today through this Monday, save thousands of dollars on the best selection of trucks and SUVs. Plus, delay all payments until November 1st and get top dollar for all trade-ins during the Big Deal event at both Cal locations. In comes Company, the smash hit Broadway musical. Winner of five Tony Awards, including Best Revival of a Musical. Company is a hilarious musical masterpiece about life, love, and good company. Critics give it five stars saying yes. It's really that good. Playing September 11th through 15th at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets at broadwayspokane.com. The Labor Day savings are on now. This week at Walker's Furniture. Save like never before with discounts on your favorite brands at the biggest sale of the year. Or enjoy 0% interest for five years and pay over time. But hurry, because these limited time offers won't last long. Beautiful new bedroom sets, stylish living rooms, and quality dining sets are all on sale. Celebrate Labor Day with style and savings this week at Walker's. Hard water damage makes it hard to keep your home looking picture perfect. Culligan softeners reduce buildup and cleaning time, transforming your water into the fine art of a long-lasting clean. Culligan, water you love. Next ET, we're with the country stars remembering Toby Keith. Just the fact that he's not here is still a pretty big void. Plus, we're beachside for the big Baywatch reunion. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. I've risked everything for you. I don't know how to be what you need me to be. I feel very, very sorry for whoever you end up with. Some pretty devastating news coming from Gonzaga men's basketball. It was just announced guard Steel Venters is out for the season again, this time with an Achilles injury. Our Sydney Berger is in studio with why this is such a tough blow to Venters and the program. Yeah, of course, having any guy out with a long-term injury like this is going to be tough. But for Venters, this diagnosis couldn't have come at a worse time. Despite transferring for e from Eastern Washington two seasons ago, Venters has yet to play in a single regular season game for the Bulldogs. He set out the entirety of last year with an ACL injury and is now benched for the second consecutive season, this time with a left Achilles injury. Head coach Mark Few says the team is devastated and are supporting Venters in any way they can. Few said, quote, we are heartbroken for Steele. He was working so hard to come back from his knee injury. We will continue to support Steele through his healing process and know he will come back better and stronger. Well, when Washington State football takes the field on Saturday, they will have a new face at quarterback. John Mateer was named the starter after a long offseason competition against Bryant transfer Zevi Eckhouse. In this season's first Cougar Chalk Talk, sports director Julian Minnesone gives us a look at what WC will look like with Mateer under center. Well, this Saturday, Washington State football is in action for the first time when they open the season against Portland State. It's also the first time we're going to be seeing quarterback John Mateer in the starting role. Now, all offseason long, coaches and players have praised Mateer for his leadership and play. But now Saturday will be his first chance to prove that he could be the guy that leads the Cougars to the promised land. <laughs> Putting a lot on my shoulders right now, going forward, and I think I'm ready for it. John Mateer just looks like a quarterback. This team counts on me every day, right? And Which I already wanted to pre prepare myself like they already did, right? But now it's real. Similar to a character in a teen drama football television show, he has the strong arm and golden locks to match. But will the look live up to the play on Saturday? He doesn't need to be anybody else than John Mateer, and I've told him that a million times. That's good enough. Mateer outlasted Bryant transfer Zevi Eckhouse for the starting spot, a competition that he says will hopefully pay off on game day. It's a good thing it happened. I appreciate Zevi. I appreciate the way they did it because um, I'm better because of it, and the team is better because of it. Mateer appeared in 11 games as a backup last season. Now he's the guy leading the Cougars in 2024. Time to embrace the pressure. When he used John and all his strengths, and that's running, that's throwing, that's moving the pocket, it's a million different things. So you'll see the complete arsenal from John Mateer, game one. The Cougars in Portland State kick off at noon on Saturday here in Pullman, and we'll have coverage for you right here on 4 News Now. Reporting in Pullman, Julian Minnesota, 4 News Now Sports.
He won't need that jacket uh, in Pullman later this week. Your Wednesday planner, it is going to be cool, especially in the morning, 45 degrees. Breezy, not windy like today in the afternoon, a high temperature of 75. I'll be back with your seven-day forecast and an update on our air quality. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Allie S. asks, how many devices can my Wi-Fi handle? That's an easy one, Allie. The average home has more devices than ever. But our gateways are engineered to handle hundreds. So not only will they work today, they'll also work tomorrow. That's our new intern. Thanks, buddy. Oh, okay, yeah. Just... Power all your devices with fast, reliable Xfinity Internet for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Hear that? It's the sound of savings at your local Ford dealer. Get a sweet sounding deal on F-150, Bronco Sport, Explorer, and more. Hurry in today for the sound of savings because a new Ford truck or SUV is calling your name. Just listen to this great offer. Lease a 2024 F-150 STX for $399 a month or a Bronco Sport Big Bend for $369 a month only at your local Ford dealer. Mainstream has proudly served Greater Spokane and Northern Idaho for over 20 years, offering reliable and high-quality home services. Our exceptional team is committed to delivering trusted plumbing, heating, cooling, and electrical solutions that ensure the comfort and safety of your home. Our goal is to provide the best experience possible when it comes to repairing, maintaining, or installing systems that make your home a more comfortable place to live. Because we are home services. We are Mainstream. Life is an opportunity to grow, to feel, to excel. Life moves at its own pace, daring you to keep up. Life pushes you to be better, to go farther. Life has you here. We're just here to help. Lincoln County, gateway to Lake Roosevelt. Fish for more than 30 species in Lake Roosevelt year-round from shore or your boat. Houseboats are available for rent to create a family cruising experience. Visit the Inland Northwest Rail Museum just west of Reardon and take a train ride. Enjoy a rodeo, livestock show, carnival, and county fair every August. And every community hosts an annual parade and celebration. For a rundown of event dates and recreational opportunities, go to lakeroosevelt.com. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? All right, Pig Out in the Park is back tomorrow. We're taking a live look at the preparations for the annual Pig Out tonight. You can see how windy it is outside right now. This year's Music and Food Festival will feature 65 food booths with 275 unique menu items to try in Riverfront Park. There will also be beer gardens and 150 free concerts on five different stages. The festival runs through Monday, that's Labor Day, September 2nd, and it's free to attend. You can head down to the park every day from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m to check it out. And if you want to scope out the food options beforehand, we have a link posted right now on KXLY.com. Chris Crocker joining us now. And Chris, you got to hope that the winds die down a little bit and our air quality gets a little bit better before they open tomorrow. Everything is going to get better uh, by tomorrow. Still a little bit of a breeze tomorrow, but we are going to see a vast improvement in our air quality, even just as our winds die down. We've got the unhealthy air bullseye right over Spokane County. A little bit of Whitman, Pant County, a little bit of Kootenai, but it's really that wind has just brought the dust into the Spokane area where we are in the unhealthy range right now. I finally... Like I say, the I think their website shut down. Too many people checking it uh, at the Spokane Regional Clean Air Authority, but we're at 157. It's actually gotten a little worse here in the last little bit, uh, but it's mostly dust, a little bit of smoke mixed in, and once the winds die down, we'll see a big improvement in that, and the winds will be dying down later this evening. Still the potential for 30-mile-per-hour gusts, though, through 8 o'clock. That is why our fire 
weather warning, our red flag warning continues until 8 o'clock. And then we see those winds dying down. It's not going to be calm overnight. We'll still see winds in the 9, 10 mile per hour range, but not the higher gusts. They'll pick up a little bit tomorrow afternoon, but for a shorter period of time and only into the 25 mile per hour range, not the near 50 mile per hour gusts that we saw today. Four things to know about your forecast. It's going to be a windy, dusty evening, at least for the next few hours. There is that fire weather warning, a chilly Wednesday morning, and then a hot Labor Day weekend. We're going to go from one extreme to the other in this forecast. Let's start off with our morning low. Uh, this is the temperature trend. The white line right here is our average overnight low. So we're going to be well below for the next couple of days. 45 Wednesday, 46 Thursday, the coolest reading since mid-June. Frost, very unlikely. Gardeners, uh, we're going to be then up around average and then a little above average. Uh, but this does not <laughs> tell the story of our daytime highs. A little above average for overnight lows. We're going to be a lot above average for daytime highs. Our nice long nights allow us to cool down pretty efficiently. This white line is our average high. We're going to be above average by Thursday and stay there through the seven day forecast and perhaps beyond the warmest day Sunday at 94 degrees. Tomorrow, temperatures will be running just a little below average in Spokane, cooler through North Idaho and Pullman in the 60s, uh, 80 degrees in Grand Coulee. I think that's the only 80 on the map, 58 over in Kalispell. It'll be 70 tomorrow in Spirit Lake as well as Hayden, 77 in Bede. Deer Park, downtown Spokane for Pig Out, and 73 in Spangle. Meanwhile, your planning forecast tomorrow, a little bit breezy in the afternoon, then it's sunny and warm through the weekend. On Labor Day, I have a 20% chance of showers, possible hit and miss afternoon showers. I'll keep you updated on that. But boy, pick your favorite temperature, and it's probably on that seven-day forecast, Eric. Yeah, no doubt. All right, Chris, thank you. As we head another break, here is your look at ABC's primetime lineup for tonight. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. What you didn't know about the legendary TV show Baywatch. There was little left to the imagination. Next, in Sun Edition, what went on behind the scenes? The never-before-seen home video. The shocking new documentary. Then, the gift of life from an old high school friend he hasn't seen in 25 years. I just knew that was what I was supposed to do. Watch the next, in Sun Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Give your home instant curb appeal with a new front door for Residential Home Solutions. We handle everything from selection to installation with top quality materials. Serving Spokane and nearby areas. Call 509-892-6460 for a free estimate today. Well, looks like our surgery patient is feeling better today. Yep, I didn't need any oxy today. I thought I'd do a little surgery on the drain. Uh -huh. Do you need your pain pills anymore? No. Well, we should get them out of the house. There are places to drop them off. Yeah, okay. Actually, I can do that right now. And I will look at the drain. Prevent opioid misuse. Find safe medication return options near you. R&R RV just wrapped up a fantastic summer sale at the Spokane Fairgrounds with America's favorite brands. You know what that means? Fresh used inventory. From travel trailers to fifth wheels, camper vans to diesel pushers, R&R RV has the pre-owned RV you've been waiting for. Take advantage of show pricing on these amazing fresh trade-ins. Don't miss it. Visit R&R RV today in Liberty Lake, North Spokane or North Lewiston. Online at rnrrv.com. Eastern Washington's largest RV dealer. Depression and anxiety rob millions of us of our day-to-day -day lives, but nothing seems to pull you out of it. Introducing NeuroStim TMS, Washington's leading provider of transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS therapy. TMS activates the natural function of the brain's neurotransmitters to improve mood and regulate emotion. TMS is not shock therapy. It's an FDA-approved, easy outpatient experience and covered by all major medical insurances. Visit NeuroStimTMS.com or call to schedule your free consultation now. 
At Residential Home Solutions, we install top quality replacement windows in various styles. Whether you need energy efficiency, low maintenance, or a fresh look, we have the perfect solution. Serving Spokane and nearby areas. Call for a free estimate today. 4 News Now is brought to you by Consigned Furniture. All right, coming up tonight on Nightside, how one organ man is taking it upon himself to direct drivers and keep traffic flowing while crews do road work in his area. We'll explain. It seems like there's typically at least one gross day for pig out in the park and it's going to be beautiful every single day. A little bit of a breeze uh, tomorrow afternoon, you know, you're trying to hold your napkin or something or your, <laughs> yeah. your paper plate blows away. There'll be like a three hour time period where that could happen <laughs> tomorrow. Nothing like today and no rain. I feel like there's been several years where there's been several days of <laughs> yes, gross weather, right? So true. if they just have to deal with a little wind tomorrow, I think that's a win. Go bon appetit. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll be back at 11 o'clock for Nightside. We'll see you then.